Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP EliteBook 840 G8 laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside to access your CMOS battery in case you need to replace it or if you're trying to manually reset BIOS. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you only have five screws here, three up top, two near the middle. And after you remove those screws, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a lot more than the plastic ones do. So take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and then go across this seam all the way around the bottom case, all the way here, inside here, and slowly, gently pry off that bottom case from the rest of the computer. Now, as far as bottom cases go, this one wasn't very bad. This was an easy bottom case to pry off from other laptops that I've worked on. After you get the bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, just as a side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet. These are great ideas to avoid damaging your computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies like that to get into your computer and to make your work area safe, as well as any replacement parts, the batteries, hard drive, RAM, fans, any components in the HP EliteBook 840G8, I'll have a link up top also below in, in the description. It'll be a collection of all the tools and supplies that I use on this project, as well as any replacement upgrade parts for this computer. Before touching anything in a computer, guys, I always consider it a best practice to remove or at least unplug your battery. So here's your main computer battery right down here. There are four screws holding this battery in on top. One here, one here, one here, one here. So all four battery screws on top. In order to get the battery out, you also have to take the speaker wire here. See how the speaker wire goes along the bottom of the battery? That's kind of stuck in there. So you gotta make sure that the speaker wire is not connected to the battery before you just go rip that battery out. You could damage your speakers. After that, guys, this is your battery plug right there. Some of you may have a black piece of tape over it. As seen here, when the computer was first opened, you may have to take that black piece of tape and just bend it back a little bit. But after that tape is removed, you can unplug this. Now, as with any wires in a computer, guys, try not to pull on the wires. Uh, put your fingernails on either grip there on that plug or a pry tool or a pair of pliers or something other than pulling on wires if you can help it. And you can just jimmy that plug right out of that port. So after you've removed the main computer battery, as you can see here, you now have exposed the CMOS battery, which is right down here on the left. It's wrapped in black electrical tape and plugged into the motherboard here. If you are here to replace the CMOS battery because it died, um, you can just pop this right off. That's just held on by double-sided tape. And then you would unplug it here. And as usual in a computer, try to avoid pulling on the wire where possible. Manipulate that plug instead. So you can put your fingernails on the grip on either side of that plug, or you can use a pry tool and you can jimmy that out of that port. If you're here to simply reset BIOS, then you don't need to necessarily remove the physical battery. You, you can leave that there. You would just need to unplug it for maybe 15, 20 seconds, and that should be sufficient to reset BIOS. Keep in mind that will only reset your BIOS operating system settings. In most cases, it will not reset the BIOS password if that's why you're here. A great way to tell if your CMOS battery has died and needs to be replaced is when you start your computer, the, the BIOS clock is not correct. The date and time is, is not correct. That's because your motherboard and BIOS, they're not retaining power when the computer shut off, again, due to a dead CMOS battery. So that's a good way to tell if it needs to be replaced. If you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do get to those a couple times a day at least. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.